Bruce died, and you lived. You're his father. You're Thomas Wayne. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most shocking moments in DC animated movies. Here you go, sonny boy. Make daddy proud. Deliver the punchline. For this list, we'll be looking at the most surprising and earth-shattering scenes in the major comic book company's animated films. Since our list contains some plot twists, consider this your spoiler warning. What moment did you find the most shocking? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Identity of Jack the Ripper Batman Gotham by Gaslight I assure you visitors to this fair, men and women alike, will be safe from Jack. Jack the Ripper. That's what he calls himself in the letter he sent the Gotham Gazette, isn't it? Ever wondered what Gotham City would be like if Jack the Ripper was hunting civilians? Well, you don't have to wonder anymore. This Elseworlds story reimagines classic members of the Batman mythos for the Victorian age. While we still don't know who Jack the Ripper was, this movie had its own answer. While Batman is looking for Selina Kyle at Commissioner Gordon's house, he stumbles upon a shattering truth. The lawman is actually Jack the Ripper. Where is he? Doing what he needs to do. His holy work. Cleaning the scum from Gotham. He needs to be severe. After witnessing horrors during the Civil War, Gordon became the Ripper to enact his twisted view of justice. This major departure from the traditional Batman ally we all know and love took us all by surprise. Look, Bruce! The world of tomorrow is burning, exposing the ashes of degradation hiding beneath. This is where we belong! Number 9. A Hero Executes the Elite Superman vs. the Elite You don't do this! I do now. No! It doesn't have to be that way, Superman! You taught us that! Don't mess with Superman. Why? Just ask the Elite. Led by the defiant Manchester Black, this group isn't afraid to kill. They also actively criticize Superman for not crossing that line. Eventually, the Kryptonian agrees to fight the team in an attempt to stop them. During the battle, Superman gets pushed so far that he seemingly stops pulling his punches. I made the mistake of treating you people like people. No sonar. Can't smell him either. Just scorched air. But now... I understand better. Our jaws dropped as the Man of Steel mercilessly eliminated each member one by one. It wasn't until the end of the battle that we got another twist. None of the elite actually met their demise. It was all an elaborate trick. For a moment, we were really convinced that the Blue Boy Scout had stopped playing nice. And on my soul, I swear that until my dream of a world where dignity Honor and justice are the reality we all share. I'll never stop fighting. Ever. Number 8. Heads up, Justice League, The Flashpoint Paradox. In The Flashpoint Paradox, The Flash goes back in time to save his mother from dying. It's a nasty spill, even for you. Let me see your head. I'm fine. Mom. It's you. You're here! Unfortunately, altering that event causes the entire timeline to become more turbulent and much darker. Within the new Flashpoint timeline, the Atlantean Mira sees her husband Aquaman getting a little too comfortable with Wonder Woman. Blinded by rage, the undersea royal tried to kill Diana, but Wonder Woman quickly retaliates and removes Mira's head. This surprising demise sparks an all-out war between the Amazons and the Atlanteans that engulfs the world. There will be no glorious victor, Diana. No prize. What I do now, I do for the good of all. As do I. Honestly, the Flashpoint world might have been saved if it had less superheroes and more couples counseling. Number 7. Batman is a Vampire. Justice League, Gods and Monsters. Kirk, I read the news. I worry you're in as much danger as any of us. 
I know, the skin is cold, but the heart's still warm. If you've ever called Batman a creature of the night, you wouldn't have been that far off. But what if this time it wasn't an exaggeration? In a unique change to the status quo, the Batman of Justice League, Gods and Monsters, is actually the scientist Kirk Langstrom. But the much more shocking fact about this character is that he's a living and breathing vampire. Every time I try to reverse the antigen, the cellular walls don't hold. I didn't think they would. Don't give up hope. We'll figure out a cure for you. After experimenting on himself to cure his cancer, he accidentally became dependent on blood. Seeing this Batman relieve an enemy of their blood was startling, especially since Langstrom also has no qualms about killing. So bottom line, villains, do not get a paper cut around this guy. Go ahead. Bet you taste like crap. Number six, Thomas Wayne is the Dark Knight. Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox. Bruce. Bruce! Bruce is dead. I watched him die. My God, he's the one who died that night in the alley. Bruce died, and you lived. Wonder Woman and Aquaman going to war wasn't the only shocking thing about Flashpoint. When Barry entered Wayne Manor to talk to Batman about their apocalyptic world, he was in for a rude awakening. In this reality, Bruce Wayne died in Crime Alley. The grim incident drove his father to pursue justice as Batman. In your reality, is my son. Bruce is alive. He's Batman. If I were to help you, what exactly would we need? But that was far from the only detail about the Dark Knight that made us gasp. Unlike his son, Thomas Wayne is more than willing to use guns and has absolutely no issue with killing villains. If you thought Bruce was brutal, then wait until you see his dad at work. Batman! You should have let her hit the pavement. You shouldn't have thrown her. She slipped. Number five, Tim Drake kills the Joker. Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker. During this futuristic Batman film, an elderly Bruce Wayne comes face to face with a Joker who's supposed to be long dead. Can't be. Oh no, your old eyes do not deceive you, Brucey. After all, who know me better than you? When the new Dark Knight Terry tries to figure out how the resurrection was possible, he learns the disturbing truth behind the clown's death. A flashback reveals that Harley Quinn and the Joker captured Tim Drake. After the clown subjected the sidekick to physical and psychological torment, Robin became molded into Joker Jr. He needed a little molding, of course. What kid doesn't? But in time, we came to love him as our own. Say hello, JJ. Tim is eventually ordered to shoot at a wounded Batman. However, Robin defies the clown and fires at the Joker instead. That's not funny. That's not... <laughs> it was heartbreaking to watch the young Robin break down after permanently stopping the clown. The Joker's unexpected end was a moment that shaped the rest of the film's dark story. Number four, unmasking the Red Hood. Batman under the Red Hood. Batman normally wouldn't mind seeing a vigilante get justice in Gotham, but when the mysterious Red Hood starts killing villains, the Dark Knight gets involved. During each of their clashes, the violent vigilante keeps hinting that he has a personal connection to Batman. Additionally, the Red Hood is able to get the upper hand against the Dark Knight by using the hero's tactics against him. I'll carry that like everything else. But now there's this. He's taken everything I've ever taught him and turned it on me. It's a hell of my own making, Alfred. Batman begins to suspect that the villain is his supposedly dead protege, Jason Todd. After the Dark Knight gets a sample of the Red Hood's blood, the shocking truth is confirmed. This earth-shattering twist makes Batman desperate to save the once mysterious vigilante at any cost. I guess we should keep it even. Jason. Yes. Number three, 
Superman slays his wife, Injustice. While Superman vs. the Elite entertains the idea of Superman breaking bad, Injustice makes that a horrifying reality. During the film, the Joker hits the Kryptonian with fear gas before revealing that Doomsday is on Earth. Doomsday! No, I will not let you hurt anyone! Superman immediately abandons the clown and flies the spiky alien into space. Unfortunately, the Man of Steel didn't really take Doomsday into the atmosphere. The fear gas prevented Superman from realizing that he flew his pregnant wife Lois into space. You took his wife. You took his unborn child and his city. Why? After all these years, Batsy, you really need reasons from me? And since her heartbeat was linked to a nuclear detonator, her death results in the destruction of Metropolis. Both twists left our jaws on the floor. And unfortunately for this animated world, those shocking turns broke the Man of Steel and sent him down a dark path. All hostilities will stop, or I will stop them. No one has the right to take innocent lives. No one. It's over. Number two, we've seen this reverse flash before. Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay. When Amanda Waller tells her Suicide Squad to retrieve a Get Out of Hell free card, the team is attacked by rival villains. One of the squad's biggest rivals is Reverse Flash. Something's wrong. Yeah, he's too fast for you. No, he's too slow. He should have broken into this jalopy and killed us all by now. Since DC fans saw the character die in Flashpoint Paradox, it seemed like this was a new version of the villain. But in a truly mind-bending twist, it's revealed that Hell to Pay's Reverse Flash is the same guy that got fatally wounded in Flashpoint Paradox. It turns out that he used his speed to temporarily halt his death in the past. I drew the speed force into me with every ounce of willpower I had left. Since he couldn't stop himself from dying, Reverse Flash decided to nab the Get Out of Hell free card. This revelation was a great way to reward longtime DC movie fans. Save me the trouble. Maybe I'll just wound you too. I promise you, Deadshot. I'm good for one last hit of speed. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Apocalypse Ambush. Justice League Dark, Apocalypse War. The Justice League was pretty confident that they could get the jump on the villainous dark side. They even sent their heaviest hitters to the planet Apocalypse to dispose of the villain. I won't ask you to give anything more than I do, but this isn't up for discussion. We're going to stop Darkseid once and for all. Unfortunately, the superheroes walked right into a trap. The movie initially doesn't show us what happened to the Justice League members on Apocalypse, but when we finally saw what went down, we couldn't believe our eyes. Darkseid knew every part of our plan. Those things that attacked us were half parademon, half doomsday. Most of the heroes were seemingly torn apart by the vicious creatures named Paradooms. As if that wasn't bad enough, Superman gets permanently depowered, Batman gets brainwashed, and Zatanna gets devoured. Watching the most powerful heroes get tormented or eliminated was jarring. This shocking sequence definitely made it clear that the stakes were higher than they'd ever been. I won't stand for further delays. After all, a conqueror must conquer. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.